Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So today I have for you guys this easy back to school makeup look for moms um, because we all know back to school is different from students and moms. Moms usually have so much time to get ready, get their kids dropped off and either have to go to work or start dealing with the kids at home or running errands. So moms don't have very much time to get ready and sometimes we just want to look good as moms. Like who fills me on that? And so this look is for you. I easily did it in within 15 to 20 minutes at the longest. And so I hope that you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and get into this makeup video. Oh yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay guys, so the first step, of course, we'll be priming our face. And so what I'm gonna go in with is I have a very tiny bit of the Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water by Wet n Wild. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this up and prime my face with this first. I got me a fan, like all the other YouTubers, to go ahead and dry my face. Because it makes so much more sense and it's so much more effective than using my hands. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry that I missed like the week of the 12th with uploading videos. Ethan started school. So it was very like trying to get in the groove of things, trying to find a new routine. And then, yeah. I even took a kickboxing class last week, which was really, really cool. And I might look into signing up for kickboxing in the future. Um, it's $500, so that is definitely a financial decision. Okay, so now that we have that on, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Watermelon Burst Ciate London Hydrating Primer. And I don't believe that this is what was breaking me out. I really think that it was just like hormones mixed with like dirty sponges, dirty brushes, and I'm breaking out right now, but that is definitely hormones because even though I don't get a period because of my birth control, like I still get the PMS, I still get the bloating, I still get like the gassiness, the breakouts, the moodiness, like I still get all of that, just not the period itself. And another note is I know that sometimes when you're in a rush, especially as a mom trying to get your kids to school, trying to get yourself ready, um, it can all be very, very difficult, especially for someone like me who Ethan just started pre-K. And then when I get back home, I have two smaller children who are very dependent on me still and potty training one of them still, trying to get that in like locked down. Um, sometimes priming can seem like a step that you want to skip, but priming is going to be essential to making your makeup last all day long especially if you have something like this watermelon primer it is a little bit more sticky and tacky so it is going to grip onto that foundation just a little bit more and it's going to help your base be nice and even so while that primer sets in i'm going to go in with my Alon my milani brow pomade in the shade soft brown and this is just what mine looks like and let me grab a spoolie this brow pencil is actually like on e but we will go ahead and fill these in. And I will be using this brush from a kit that I got on. Speaking of, I got all these new brushes, thanks to my mom, and some of them are from Ipsy and BoxyCharm. So, I have a butt ton of new brushes, so now I won't feel like I'm constantly running out or constantly have to clean my brushes. Cause I figure once these get dirty, then I can wash these. And while I'm in the process of washing them, like I can still film because I'll have a backup set of clean brushes. Um, I know that there are a lot of you that watch my videos and which ones do you guys like? Because I'm still like kind of trying to get in a groove of like the algorithm on my channel and trying to figure out what people watch the most. Um, I didn't do any unboxings this month just because I noticed that they don't get very many views, and so I, I definitely just want to watch, just want to post what you guys would like to see. So now that brows are done, and also I like using a pomade because as you've seen, it literally took me like a minute to two minutes to do my brows. Sometimes I can do it faster. I feel like I, I feel like when you use a pencil, for perhaps like you spend a lot of time doing the brush stroke, brush strokes, whereas a pomade or even a powder, like you can go in with a brush that's thicker like this, and then like you can fill them in pretty fast, and then going back through them with a spoolie, kind of still gives you like that 
hair like stroke without all the effort of using a pencil. And so the next thing I'm going to use is this infallible fresh wear foundation. And I like this because this truly is a long lasting foundation and not only that, but you don't have to work hard with this foundation. It basically blends itself and it's not gonna take a lot of time in the morning and I'm pretty sure as an everyday mom who's rushing to get things done, you're not gonna want something that's super full coverage and cakey that you have to work with. So I do highly recommend this foundation for moms only because like I said, it's really easy to blend out. It's really easy to work with. You're gonna get it done within a couple of minutes. And so with everything only taking a couple of minutes, you could easily do this look within 10 minutes. And yeah, like I said, I'm pretty sure no mom is actually looking for a full coverage foundation to run her errands. No mom needs a full glam um, to run her errands. Now I will be applying lashes just because that's something that I like to do. Um, but I will show you guys an, alter an alternative mascara that is really awesome and that you probably won't need lashes for or maybe you just don't like lashes and this will give you that false lash effect and there we go and as you can see like you can still see all of my freckles some of my blemishes but my skin tone does look a lot more even i look a little bit more put together now and that's just with brows and foundation okay now for concealer i'm going in with my catrice liquid camouflage concealer um, and this does have pretty good coverage. It is going to help a little bit with canceling out those dark circles and brightening up as well, depending on what shade you get, depending on how you like your face. So I don't put very much because I'm not too much into the super brightening effect anymore. So yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and blend that out. Now to set this all down, I'm going in with this Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. And I got this in a BoxyCharm. And I actually kind of really like it. I like the way it feels. I like the way it sets my makeup. And of course, you guys know I have dry skin. So the fact that it is a hydrating powder is really, really cool. Like whenever I apply this, like it sets the makeup beautifully, but like it doesn't even look powdery whatsoever doesn't change the color of your foundation or whatever you're doing okay and I am just gonna go ahead and go in with the sponge and set my whole face with this okay. just do a once over and make sure all of that powder is set in we don't have any like powder patches if that makes sense Okay, and now what we're going to do is this super easy eye look that makes it really easy, but it looks really, really pretty and makes it look like you put in a lot of effort. So what I'm going to do, and all you, um, I'm using this palette that I got in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus by Laura Sanchez, and I'm going to take this brown shade right here. You could easily use your bronzer, that's for your skin tone, and I'm going to throw this into the crease. And I'm gonna take this Butter Wonder Butter London palette that I got in my boxy charm, and I'm, I'm gonna take this golden shade right here, and I'm gonna take my finger and place that on my eyelid. You see how it got a little bit messy? Well, you can just take that brush and go in and just blend that out just a little bit and boom. Now all you need is mascara. And the mascara I'm going to be taking is this Thrive Cosmetics Lash Extension Mascara. And you guys know I am going to go ahead and curl my lashes. And we'll do a couple coats of this and I'm not gonna apply falsies. I changed my mind. But watch this mascara do its thing. Okay. 
Okay, so this is actually two coats of the mascara. Now what I'm gonna do, because I had a little break that you guys don't know about, <laughs> um, is go in and clean up any mascara that I may have got on my eyelids or underneath my eyes. And yeah, so that Thrive Cosmetics mascara, I actually received it in an Ipsy Glam bag. Plus, I really like it. I've already used it once. It doesn't flake, it doesn't smudge. And it's really easy to take off. You just get a little bit of water on them and you can literally pull the mascara off without pulling out your eyelashes. So I really like that. So next thing we're gonna go in with is our bronzer. Of course, I'm going to be taking my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And we're just gonna bronze slash contour around our face with this. next and all the brushes I'm using all the brushes I've used so far like makeup brushes have been from that set from Amazon so next I'm taking my covergirl blush in the shade peach punch and we're just gonna apply a little bit of this to our cheeks and I like this one because it's gonna give you that glow and help you not look tired and make it look like you have that beautiful natural glow to your skin without actually really trying. Of course, your skincare is also very, very important. So this process is really a lot more than the makeup that I'm actually putting on my face. If you guys would like to see my morning skincare routine, go ahead and comment that down below or give me a thumbs up and I will get that up for you guys pretty soon. Okay, so now that we're done with blush, okay, so my highlight is actually going to be this Suva Beauty Liquid Highlighter. Let's see how this is going to apply on top of powder because I completely forgot to put this under my makeup. And I'm like, how did I forget a highlighter? I didn't, I just forgot which highlighter I picked. So I just taken some on my sponge and we're just going to dab that on the tops of our cheekbones and everywhere else that we really like to put that highlight. Ooh, that is not cute on top of powder. Like it looks really good in the like on camera, but in the mirror you can see where it's like clinging to certain spots, but now I have to even out the other side. So Great. <laughs> There's actually no product on this brush. I'm just trying to blend that highlight out. actually really pretty I think I just used too much went in with too much on this side at first so last but not least we're gonna go ahead and set our brows before we forget because I will forget I'm using my elf brow wow setting gel Okay, going in with my Revlon lip liner in the shade Nude. And then we're gonna go in with this CoverGirl lip gloss in the shade Berrylicious. Okay, now just to set. I'm gonna have to open up my rose one because that one is done. Press this into our face. By the way, I found this at the Dollar Tree, so if you're looking for a fan to dry your setting spray, whatever the case is, Dollar Tree. Okay, and now we're going to put on our hats. 
So this is it, you guys. This is a completed look. Like if you don't want to deal with your hair in the morning, hat is the best way to go. And then I just have on some really cute joggers and a cropish top. I call it a cropish because it literally meets my pants. So you still don't see any skin, but you're still, you know, look cutely thrown together. And so this is it. This is a completed makeup look. It literally took me, I can do this in 15 minutes without forgetting makeup, without having to get up and deal with King, without the mishap with the highlighter. You can do this look in 15 minutes and maybe 20 if you add in the extra step of like lashes or something like that. But this is it, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this look and I hope this was helpful to all you other moms out there who have kids going back to school or just moms out there in general who you don't have very much time because, well, you gotta deal with kids. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.